Now let's install Pyrotech Extrusion Spheronizator. Install the mesh plate. Adjust the distance between the mesh plate and the fitting screw. Set the distance between 0.5 to 1.5 mm. Positioning the mesh plate and tighten the screws on the tie rods. Calibration is complete. Remove the mesh plate. Install the extrusion barrel. After adjusting the position, tighten the fixing screws of the extrusion barrel. Install the mesh plate. Tighten the fixing screws of the mesh plate. Install the reinforcing plate. Tighten the fixing screws of the reinforcing plate. Tighten the reinforcing rod. Set cold water temperature. Generally, it is 10 degrees. Click to start the cold water pump. Click to start cooling. After the actual water temperature drops below the cold water temperature setting value, we will start the feeding screw. Now the actual water temperature is under the cold water temperature setting value. Start the feeding screw. Put the material into the extrusion barrel. The material is pushed through the mesh plate and extruded into strips. After extruding, click to stop extrusion. Stop cold water pump. Put the extruded material into the sulfurization pot. Put on the glass cover. Click multi stage sulfurization. You can set sulfurization speed parameters here. Click Return. Click Manual in Blower Area. Click Coating Mode. Click to start Draft Fan. Then click Extrusion Sovereignization. Click Sovereignization Automatic. The material is fairly diced in the sovereignization pot.
thick automatic in discharging area to discharge the material.